A wild T-Rex is taking a peaceful walk in the jungle. He came across two paths, and he chose one. Little does he know about the gang of scorpions that avenge for blood. They sense the victim's footsteps. He looks like a fool. I think he is perfect. The T-Rex sees the gang and approaches them out of curiosity. A Scorpio has just given him a sting and he began screaming at them. All the scorpions took a jump and landed on him to sting till their content. He fell and the scorpions took over his body and continued attacking. But T-Rex was nonetheless. He successfully yeeted many scorpions and killed many. and took them for a oh, feast. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, he sees a triceratops resting under shade, making use of his unconsciousness. Oh, yeah. T-Rex decided to prank him, so he threw the scorpions upon him. The scorpions begin stinging Triceratops. He gets rid of them and sees the T-Rex right above. Aggression took upon Triceratops. He eats had few scorpions and began mashing down the remaining. What? He then encounters the giant scorpion the king of them all. Triceratops bravely went on to attack, but he was defeated. observing Triceratops and went awestruck. Oh no! Triceratops finally spots him and the chase begins. T-Rex ran for life since he didn't want to be dead. On one pleasant day at the Super Dinosaur World, the little dinosaurs are hanging out with Mommy T-Rex and her kid. They sat by the tree shade. An evil T-Rex is passing through that area. He comes across the little dinosaurs. What? He desired to eat their heads and fill his stomach. Oh, yeah. The mommy T-Rex is resting therefore he thinks it's the right time to trap them. Little T-Rex sees him holding a bone and goes to him to grab it. As soon as he got near, the evil T-Rex bit his head off and packed it into a bag. The dinosaurs were still resting. Soon T-Rex shows up as a clown to grab the other kid's attention. Wow. He throws a few silly tantrums and the little dinos were quite amazed by this. As soon as they came to him, he attacked. He ripped their heads and packed it into a bag. T-Rex got up from sleep what? right before he could run off. There begins the 
case. Oh no! T-Rex displaced through a short route and successfully slapped the evil guy with wood. T-Rex then grabs the little dino heads and goes back home. While the evil guy works for an eternity to get rid of the rock, the mommy Trex then mismatched T-Rex's head upon Parasaur and Parasaur's head upon Raptor. The raptor's head was fitted upon the T-Rex. She still didn't feel anything was odd until what? Ankylosaurus saw them oh, no. and went flabbergasted. Hey T-Rex, were these kids born to be abnormal? That's a long story man. Can you help me fix their heads for now? With Ankylosaurus's assistance, the dino's heads were fixed properly. And they began to feel joyful about this. The baby dinos are taking a walk into the dense Jurassic jungle. It is where they belong. But they are near the prohibited area of the jungle. But the little ones are always so curious. How about let's sneak in carefully and see what's going on? Nothing worse might happen, guys. All the dinos were agreeing except the parasaur. What do you mean by nothing worse may happen? It's literally a prohibited place. Oh, grow up, man. You need to be brave. All the dinos proceeded, but Parasaur was reluctant. They slowly sneaked in only to see automobiles all over. The dinosaur truck won their attention. They casually went near to see it and accidentally the stand fell. The truck activated and ate Ankylosaurus. Both the dinos began running away. Parasaur saw from afar and got alert. Oh no! The truck soon ate the Triceratops and then the Parasaur. Parasaur was quite away and he's doing a good job running from it. The truck isn't even sparing the stones or rocks. But it surely can't swallow wood. I stopped them from entering that restricted area. But they didn't listen. Now a weird truck ate them. Now it's coming to eat me. Now it will be a one-on-one -on -one between T-Rex and the truck. The little dinos were successfully out. Petition to consider T-Rex as the superhero of Jurassic World. Welcome to the Jurassic World of Dinosaurs. The two gentlemen are here for the dinosaur safari adventure. Parasaur and Ankylosaurus will guide them in the vast jungle amongst all the dents and volcanoes. They came across the Pteranodon pair. The flying dinos which were entertained by the butterflies. After seeing the Pteranodons, the dinos went down the slope. and then passed by the sleepy Stegosaurus. And now they had come across cactuses.
As they went by, there were signs of an enormous dino approaching. <gasps> the dinos and men were stuck <gasps> seeing oh, the no! dino. a big roar and began chasing them while they were running away in an escape. And the man fled and fell onto the cactus and got his butt hurt. T-Rex began laughing at him while he was still stuck by the terror. He was being chased in many turns. And the guy even went up the hill but couldn't get rid of the T-Rex. The man was frightened seeing the aggressive dinosaur since it was a dead end. Oh no! Meanwhile there came Pteranodon for the rescue. What? It immediately caught hold of the man and took him with it while T-Rex roared in annoyance. Finally, the dinosaurs celebrated the man's revival. On the hill's side, a big blue egg is being rolled down to sit in a warm place and wait for it to hatch. My egg. My little me will be out soon. I got to keep it safe and wait for that precious moment. Where is my egg? What is this long necked Dino doing with my egg? Oh no! My egg! Got to go and get it! What a perfect place it is! Safe and nice. I will hide in the bushes and wait to get my egg from this big dino. What's the sound? I hear a swish and there is a rustling of leaves right in front of me. Let me go have a look. Hey, who's there? Who? Got my egg. Here it is. This time I will sneak from behind the tree. No, it's mine! Here you are! Oh no! Oh my egg! Here you are! Wow! You are about to come out my little love! No! This little one is Dino's baby! 
doesn't look like mine. Oh no! Mommy. Oh, Mom. There goes the mother dinosaur and her baby. The baby is fed well by her. Both of them have taken a good walk home. There is also a T-Rex who's cunning. Absolutely greedy and mercilessly. He sees the mother and son and decides to approach them. This looks yummy. Give me that meat and I'll spare you both. No, we won't. Now you can leave our place. An intense fight has begun. Oh yeah! But little does she know, she could only rest in peace forever. Oh, no! The baby T-Rex saw his mom dying in front of him. Nothing could be more painful. Black T-Rex went to eat the meat while the baby T-Rex stood there crying for his mom. This will not be the end and there will be revenge. Baby T-Rex followed the black T-Rex and hid behind a rock and observed him coming. The baby T-Rex pushed the rock down the slope and it hit the black tracks. He did not die but instead saw the baby tracks and began chasing him. The baby T-Rex ran over a rope. And soon a log of wood came and pushed Black Tracks into a cage, and the cage closed. Oh, finally! Now you don't need to eat meat, because you will be cooked or worse. Baby T-Rex might have taken his revenge. But the grief of his mother's death will still haunt him. The Dinos are now taken for another adventure with the Squid Game Girl. The Dinos entered the arena. The Dinos could observe nothing but the meat behind the girl and the girl. Triceratops felt an instant urge to eat them. What? T-Rex was terrified and tried to run away. Oh no! Why so much hurry? You see these signals? Play the game. Survive and win the meat. The game began. The girl turned behind and started to sing. And after she turned right up, T-Rex was still running, so he was shot. Now the signal was green again, so the dinos had to walk. But the signal was about to turn red. And the raptor was right behind the buzzer, and it blasted on his face. Signal open! Stegosaurus was about to win, but Terry Rex was stopping him. He successfully reached the safe zone, and we had Terry Rex. And then t 
T-Rex woke up with enormous rage. scared the masked men away too. T-Rex, Parasaur, and Stegosaurus are happily munching upon the meat. The mighty T-Rex is taking a peaceful walk into the jungle. He surprisingly comes across a luxurious swimming pool. He immediately runs in and sees many dinosaurs chilling in there. The T-Rex gets himself a cute swimming help and gets into the water. The dinosaurs find this funny since an adult dinosaur doesn't know swimming. And he prefers a cute life support. They all continue to laugh at him. Raptor slides from the top and swims against T-Rex making him fall off the life support and fight for life. T-Rex managed to stand on his own legs. While all the dinosaurs were busy making fun of him. I need to teach this brats a life lesson. He firstly wants to discipline the lady Terry Rex. He shows up as a what? shark and swims around her while she runs away in terror, screaming for help. <laughs> then it's Ankylosaurus's turn. He removed the trampoline for his next jump. An Ankylosaurus had greeted the ground. He now finally has to discipline the raptor. T-Rex threw a soap next to the pool. The raptor went sliding onto the wall and then sliding back onto the ground. T-Rex began laughing at the spoiled brat while they were unhappy with receiving their own treatment. What? Raptor began chasing the T-Rex to attack while T-Rex was trying to run out of the pool. But just then the Ankylosaurus attacked him. T-Rex somehow manages to escape them and run for his life leaving the brats to hold a grudge upon him that may last a lifetime. The black T-Rex is a peaceful parent for his disciplined young one's raptor, Triceratops, and Stegosaurus. They are happily passing the ball to each other. Unlike the red T-Rex's kid's parasaur, Terry Rex and Ankylosaurus. They just randomly jump on his head until it's on the verge of breaking. And then tickle T-Rex until his sensory nerves stop working. The red T-Rex tries to discipline them by screaming at them. But Terry Rex has his way. He would blow the trumpet onto the T-Rex and he would get sick. They are the reason his ears work only 50%. You guys will only know my worth when I'm gone forever. Apparently the black T-Rex and red T-Rex are neighbors. The red T-Rex's kids are done with the mischief so now they're up to rest. These idiots are bugging me so much. Look at them resting after keeping me restless. But I have my ways. Now these idiots will be busy finding the treasure. 
He throws the treasure box at the Dainu. So that they could get curious and leave soon for the quest. Terry Rex soon began discussing the quest with his remaining Dainus. So guys, this should be a corporate secret. Let's do this mission secretly. Terry Rex is discussing with his fellow Dainus. And the raptor has seen this. He curiously went to eavesdrop their conversation oh, and to yeah. have a glance at what they're holding. They somehow found that map. But we are the actual ones that deserve a treasure. Let's secretly follow them. Raptor and his mate secretly followed the Dinos from behind the woods. And before the Dinos could get there, Raptor and his mates already crossed the pond. Soon Terry Rex and his mates got there and crossed the pond. Raptor and his mates came across a board pointing towards the right. The two Dinos went right but the raptor felt reluctant. So the raptor changed the direction of the board and ran towards the right. Terry Rex and his mates took the right as expected, while Raptor and the Dinos greedily ran for the non-existent treasure. They took the motorboat and sailed to the island. Meanwhile Terry Rex and his Dino came to the same end even if they took the other route. Terry Rex spotted the what? neighbor Dinos. Let's go there quickly, before these idiots reach! Obviously Raptor and the gang got there and they took a peek into the trees. And to their surprise, they were invited by the Scorpios. The Scorpios climbed upon their heads and kept stinging. While Terry Rex and the Dinos were enjoying their suffering. Is it really important to play this game? The animals are quite serious. Terry Rex turned back and closed his eyes and Parasaur slapped him. When Terry Rex had to make the guess, he made the guess wrong. It was another turn and Stegosaurus slapped him this time. But he guessed wrong again. <laughs> Terry Rex turned back to get slapped again. Meanwhile a King Kong passing by decided to bully them and occupy the place. All the dinos ran away, and he began resting there. Terry Rex decided on being friends with him. Let's be friends, please! <gasps> the King Kong kicked him off. Let's be friends! King Kong is not having it.
but seconds later Terry Rex showed up. Let's be friends, please! Come on! What?